Hey everyone, um, so it's February 19th, 2021 here in Austin, Texas. Uh, it's been cold, uh, we've got some snow. So cold in fact that water mains broke and so I don't have any water at my house. And so uh, I want it to be able to flush toilets and things like that without having to get buckets of water. So I'll show you what I came up with. So there's my house that needs water. And uh, I've got a giant reservoir of water here, 28,000 gallons. I just need a way to get it from the pool uh, into my house. So I'll show you what I came up with. So here's where the, um, here's where the, the, the filter and pump are. And so the pump has a, uh, a spigot on it that you can put a garden hose on. So I put a garden hose on there and I've uh, um, opened it up. And so water can be pushed uh, through a garden hose. So normally this is used to drain your pool uh, when the water's too high uh, from too much rain. Uh, but this is the first step. So the garden hose, there it goes on its way up to the house. Uh, as you can see, there's still water going into the pool. So what's nice about this is you can block off this water uh, going to the, to the house and it doesn't do any damage to the pool filter or the pump or anything because it's just water that you're bleeding off. Uh, if, there, if that thing is, um, if I turn this, this garden hose off, all, all the water is just going to be directed into the pool like normal. And so here we follow the hose uh, up to the house. And what the, the kind of the secret was I needed a female to female connection. And it turned out what worked perfectly for me was a old uh, hose for a washing machine. It happens to be a female to female. So that lets me adapt my, uh, my hose that's connected to the filter uh, into the house. And so this is where water can now, normally it comes from the house into a garden hose. Uh, now I've sort of pressurized it from the other side. So here we are in front of the house. Um, here's where, my, uh, where I shut the water off. Uh, since water's not coming from the city, I didn't want to push water back to the city. Uh, so instead, I, I just turned the water valve off here at the, um, at the, at the input to the house. Uh, and in case I have any leaks in my irrigation system, I can turn that yellow valve off um, so that I'm not actually pushing any water into my irrigation system either. So here's the, uh, the sink. Uh, and you can turn this on. Uh, not a lot of water coming out, but it's better than nothing. I wouldn't drink it, but it's enough to wash your hands and it's enough to fill the toilets. Okay, so here's the ultimate test. Uh, I'm going to show you how the flush works. Um, of course, it's clean water in there now. Uh, but yeah, I can flush the toilet. And uh, yeah, it fills. It's slow, <laughs> um, but it will fill. So it's filling, it takes a couple minutes to fill. Uh, it sure beats using a bucket.